Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Zapt. Uh, my name is Roland, and today we're going to be charging the Tesla Model Y Performance. So um, I'll put up on the screen. At the moment, you can see it's uh, forty-nine percent, and um, we had our uh, electrician come yesterday to install our uh, wall connector. Here it is, nice and simple. Very lucky to have three phase over here, so it will charge faster. Um, and we'll just keep the UMC in the car for whenever we need that. So let's uh, plug it in. It's currently at, I think I said 49%. We'll plug it in and uh, see how we go. So, here we go. I'll flip the camera around and yeah. All right, so currently it's a bluey color light. I'm not sure you can see that shade from here but plug that in it's connecting you can hear the click and then that looks like it's charging and you've got the green charge so let's go and look at the car and let's just double check all the settings on how, how many amps it's charging at so there you are the maximum 16 amp three hours and five minutes remaining currently at 49 percent charging 12 kilowatts i thought it was 11 but okay 12 kilowatts and 16 amp and the three there for three phase uh there you go so between 11 to 12 i guess but from memory it said it should be about 11. now for those wondering at the moment the two hour it's now showing two hours uh 50 and um it will eventually slow down i guess um it'll just do the peak charge now as it gets closer to that 80 percent or somewhere there uh, i will be using the charge hq integration but that was just showing you the max speed at three phase using the tesla wall connector so there you go 16 amps uh, 11 to 12 kilowatts roughly and from 49 percent it'll hit uh it'll take about two hours 50 minutes to go through that full charge so um yeah I'll turn on Charge HQ now and we will see um, what that charge looks like. So on the screen you can see the time is drastically increasing now. I'm currently recording on my screen so I can show you guys, I can put that up on the screen next to it as well. At the moment I'm producing about 3.7 kilowatts excess um, and that's essentially getting filtered in. So you can see it's charging at just about four kilowatts. Um, and yeah, the time obviously significantly changes, but at the same time, what that means is uh, you'll be able to use all your renewable energy from your solar and therefore not costing you anything. But as you can see again, the time does significantly change. And obviously uh, it's about, it's nearly 5 p.m. now it obviously won't be uh, that bright or won't produce that much electricity for the remainder of the day. So it definitely will take uh, longer than that. So it'll take uh, some time tomorrow as well in order to try and get towards that full charge. Okay, and we can also see on solar analytics that the usage recently was, as you can see, we were producing the the four kilowatts there was how much uh, solar is being produced and the 12 there was the 12 kilowatts that it was um, pulling in to charge the car. Alright guys, that wraps it up for our uh, in-home charging solution video. Uh, I haven't charged it to full as yet or even roughly 80% so I've only charged 10% over the past couple of days just to test it out as we had the charger installed. But um, as I said, using Charge HQ now, and um, you can see that it's only charging at three kilowatts. At 50%, it would take nearly half a day, assuming that you've got that much excess solar for that period of time. So obviously won't finish charging now if I just want to use our excess solar. Um, and uh, yeah, look, that, that wraps it up. Won't talk anymore. Uh, if you liked the video or if you helped, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button as it's going to help my channel grow even more. We're still in the early days and um, yeah, hope to make more content and we shall see you soon. Take care guys.